hi if you're anything like me then this will not be an unfamiliar hairdo for you for autumn and winter because there is nothing more frustrating than setting your hair in the evening only to go out the next day and it drizzle on your hair and make it frizz out, fluff out, drop out, any of those things. It's very, very frustrating. Well, I have a solution. It's a fantastic, pretty updo that's super secure. And if it, get rain, if it gets rained on, it won't even matter. It also looks lovely for work or uh, if you're going out, it's just an all round fantastic little updo. And um, so stay tuned. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell for updates because I would hate for you to miss out. Also, if you click the link in the space underneath this video, you will find a little freebie I've created for you, a cheat sheet for this hairstyle. So click there too. I hope you like the video. So starting with day old hair, my hair has been curled previously and the curl has dropped somewhat, this is the day after. I'm taking a section of hair round about from the crown of my head down to each side of my, each corner of my forehead if you like. Now I know that everyone's hair is of different thicknesses um, on the top of their head and all around their head indeed but um, you're going to have to kind of work out whether or not your hair is thick or not on the front section of your head. This is going to make your bumper bangs so if you've got thinner hair on top take a bigger section, if you've got thinner hair, thicker hair take a smaller section you're then going to work on brushing your hair into a nice smooth as if you were putting it into a high ponytail smooth all around and just keep on brushing until you have no bumps you're then going to take a double pronged comb now I get mine from boots and that's a store in the UK but you could get yours from any um, what do you call them drug stores in America I assume or online um, and you're going to slot it in kind of round about from it's got to be quite near the front but not too far forward so that it shows past your hairline so above your ear is quite good it's got to hold up your hair around the entirety of your head so as close as you can get to the beginning of your hairline um, but not on your face you're then going to put one at the back and then a third one kind of on the opposite side on the other side of your face this should create a smooth kind of crown effect of comb that will hold up the whole of your hair onto the top of your head like this and I've got relatively thick hair and these three combs they hold up all of my hair without an issue you can see here there's three and they meet up pretty much corner to corner then taking um, sections of hair and I'm taking kind of like maybe an inch and a half section here and I'm winding it around and uh, a curling tongue that's also about an inch Ideally, I would use a smaller curling top, but I don't have one. This has been gifted to me by my lovely sister-in-law, so I'm just using that. Um, I think probably half an inch would be ideal to give you a really sweet little poodly um, tight poodle curls. But this, this works really well, so an inch um, curling iron. I'm just curling my hair forward around that iron. Um, if your hair doesn't really hold a curl and you're worried for it to, uh, to drop out while you're curling, um, you can pin these curls as you go, but I didn't see the need um, for this style really. Because you can kind of roll, you're going to be rolling the curls anyway into the shape, into the forms that you want. So you're going to want to end up looking kind of a bit Charles the Secondy. And I'm just going to pin those curls back. They should be nice and cool by the time you get to the kind of front ones while I do the bump bang area. So again, taking inch sections, I'm curling them forwards. Maybe not inch sections, maybe slightly less than an inch. And these ones I am pinning. I haven't shown you that I've stuck a sectioning clip through that curl, but I have. So we're going to be wrapping it round forward over the tongue um, and then putting a sectioning clip through that curl so that it just sits and holds. And hopefully this, along with the spray and the back combing, will give us a real... Um, malleability one and also security and hold because at the moment there is an option to put a, a, a bun form in here but I'm not at the moment so I need extra security taking section by section working from the front to the back I'm spraying and then back combing from the roots to the tips each section so I had three kind of rows of curls spray and then a c-shaped motion with your back combing brush all the way to the ends then smoothing those three together 
and we're going to form our bumper bang. So I'm just smoothing using this very side of my um, back combing or smoothing brush. Okay, and then making a, a loop of hair and walking it up towards my face. Now I have a fringe, so I'm gonna have to incorporate that into the front roll. It takes a little bit of practice. Don't expect to get it your first time. I mean, if you do, that's amazing. <laughs> but like, don't worry if you don't get it first time. Once you've got it to your face, put your finger in that roll and keep it there while you bobby pin from each side. Then you can mould, because of this back combing, because of your spraying, you're able to mould your hair into a nice smiley face shape, like a U shape. And then bobby pin again, keeping that finger in your sausage, hair sausage, um, the whole time. You see, I'm just moulding it up. So the corners of it go up. If it looks a bit tatty and messy, kind of on the sides of that bumper bank, don't worry, because you can pile your curls up over the top of it, giving it a little bit of an extra spray for stability and then unpinning these curls. Now this is where you your creativity can um, take hold. You wanna see how much curl there is left in each bit. You know, sometimes there's a bit of a dodgy end. Don't worry about it, just wrap it around and fold it back towards your head. It should form a pretty little um, kind of a concertina well you're concertinaing the curl back towards your head and then you're just pinning it I think I'm making it sound a little bit more complicated than it is <laughs> it's probably best I'm quiet and just let you watch the video I'm just piling the curls on top of my head look at that scrunching them pulling them apart just seeing what's aesthetically pleasing obviously you're going to put them in between where the combs are you want to center them on the top and the front of the style to give it some beautiful volume this is such an elegant style and but still quite quite playful i, I not that i want to be playful i don't know i don't know what to say it's nice i really like it and so just concentrating on just piling up and trying not to get is that ends do i see ends there trying not to get ends that stick out you want you don't want to see any ends you want them all to be rolled into your curls for a, for the neatest type of look if your curls have dropped you wrap them around your finger and you pin them um, as you go so you know don't fret if while you've been working on your bumper bangs your curls have dropped a little you're just going to pin curl them and shove them on the top of your head it really is quite simple now for those of you with finer hair you might want to back comb your curls before you um, before you pile them to give you that little bit of extra volume or indeed pin a bun form or a hair rat to the top of your head um, before you so behind your bumper bangs and then put the curls on top of that if you think your hair is not thick enough to create the volume itself then build it up around a bun form or a hair rat which again you can buy online or you can make yourself even I don't know why when I start to do my videos people start to jump around upstairs I don't know if you can hear that but it sounds like my daughter is literally going to fall through the ceiling it's insane it's very annoying and apologies if you can hear it so just going round, um, I've worked from the front to the, no, the back to the front because the front ones are the most important, really the front curls. You just want to make those look cute over the top of your bangs. And all the time you're poking your bobby pins into the style rather than laying them across the curls, you're poking them into your curls so you can't see the metal bits. So you're poking them into the style you don't really have to worry too much um, no, I'm, I was going to say you don't have to worry too much about opening them with your teeth and in every for every single one I can see myself opening them with my teeth and um, that's just a, a habit that I've got into but honestly you could just poke them into your style it would I do it again oh my god um, you can just poke them in and that's it just making sure that the, the u-shaped bang is still there um, you really want to get that kind of uplift uplifted look at the front 
Now this hairstyle looks lovely on its own or you can adorn with hair flowers. Every hair flower you see in this video is for sale. They're handmade by me. If you're interested, please DM. Here's a magnolia. I've also got some dahlias and some peonies, some flowers, and I've got ones with succulents and roses, lots of different ones that uh, you might like. If you're interested, just email me and I will um, show you pictures. If you think your hair is not strong enough to hold the bumper bang section, then please use a cut up bun donut which you could just insert which will give you extra stability for hold all day thank you so much for watching i really hope that you enjoyed the video make sure you click the like button if you did and comment down below what your favorite rainy day hairstyle is i'll see you next time thanks bye